All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by adding 8 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite 8 as... 2 to the power of 3. So I have x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 0. And the reason I did that was because if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x minus 2, and b is equal to 2. So I get x minus 2 plus 2 times x minus 2 squared minus 2 times x minus 2 plus 2 squared, and this is equal to 0. Now we can simplify this. So negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out. So I get x times x minus 2 squared is the same thing as x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then negative 2 times x minus 2, I can distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And finally, I have this plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Now from here... We can simplify what's in the parentheses. So I get x times x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 2x plus 4 plus 4. So this simplifies to x squared. Negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x. And now I'm left with plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is plus 12. This is equal to 0. Now from here, this gives me two equations. I get x is equal to 0, and I get x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. So x equals 0, this is already a solution. And x squared minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. To solve this, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 6, and c is 12. So if I plug these values in to my quadratic formula, I get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 48, which is negative 12 over 2. Now from here, a negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is the same thing as the imagined number i. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 12i over 2. Now, the square root of 12, this is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 3, right? Which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2. This is equal to 2 root 3. So, I get x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 2. Now if I divide my terms here by 2, I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus, these two cancel out, square root of 3 i. So my three solutions are x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 3 i, x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 3 i, and x is equal to 0.
All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x is equal to 80. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'll first start with three to the power of x is equal to 80. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, we wanna find a way to, we wanna find the value of x, right? And to get x, it's hard to do it when it's in exponent form. So we wanna find a way to bring x down to make it a real term. And to do that, there is an important property of logarithms that states that if there's something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 3 is equal to log 80. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite 80 here as 8 times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And this is another one of the exponent or sorry logarithmic properties there is also log a over b and if i have something in this form this is the same thing as log a minus log b so now going back to the problem we have log 8 times 10 and we can use this property so we can think of 8 as a and 10 as b so this is going to equal x log 3 is equal to log of 8 plus log of 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is simply equal to 1. So I get x times log 3 is equal to log 8 plus log 10, or sorry, just 1. And now remember, we want to isolate x, so the only thing left to do is to get rid of this log 3 by dividing both sides by log 3. So then this cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 8 plus 1 over log 3. Now, log 8 is equal to 0 0.90309, and log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 0 0.90309 plus 1 over 0 0.4771. And this is equal to 1.90309 over 0 0.4771. Now, 1.90309 over 0 0.4771 is equal to 3.9889. So x is equal to 3.9889. Now, the only thing left to do is to check if my solution here is correct. So the original equation was right here, 3 to the power of x is equal to 80. 
and my solution is x is equal to 3.9889. So if I plug this in for x into my original equation, I get 3 to the power of 3.9889 is equal to 80. Now 3.9889 is really close to 4, right? So let's first find the value of 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. Now 3.9889 is a little less than 4, meaning we can estimate that it's going to be around 1 less than 81. So it's safe to say that 3 to the power of 39889, sorry, 3 to the power of 3.9889 is close to the value of 80.